My name is Geoffrey Spedding and I'm Chair of the Aerospace and Mechanical Engineering Department. I studied zoology for undergraduate degree and also for my PhD and I got both of those at the University of Bristol in England and I really enjoyed looking at physics and mechanics of animals and the natural world around me and uh, I found a project on the aerodynamics of bird flight. Uh, aerospace engineering is the study of um, flying things, things that fly through the air or through space. This semester I'm teaching the Introduction to Aerospace Engineering class, which is the first aerospace engineering class that AE majors take here, and uh, so it's enormous fun. I can teach anything I want to. On Wednesday I was teaching about why plane wings look the way they do and why bird wings look the way they do. In two weeks time we're going to start building a glider. So the students will break up into teams and we'll build a glider for the next six weeks. After that will be a glider competition. And following our classes we should be able to predict and explain why the gliders perform the way they do. And so in the early hours of some damp morning in November on the baseball field, we'll be flying gliders and seeing if they do what they're supposed to. So my interaction with undergraduates, uh, first of all, I think that's a really core thing that we do. And that's really the whole point of being a university. We do research and we teach undergraduates. And the most that you can mix those together, the better off we all are. This entire wooden structure that you see around here is a wind tunnel. And the whole purpose of a wind tunnel is to make a nice, uniform, steady flow so that you can make reliable tests of the aerodynamics of various objects. Most usually those objects are wings or bodies of uh, aircraft, but you could also put things like uh, feathers or missiles or uh, little models of copepods perhaps. And what we do here is we measure the forces directly on the objects that appear in this test section through a custom force balance that you can't really see here, but uh, you can take my word for it, it exists. And at the same time, we measure the flow by filling the whole tunnel full of smoke and then illuminating the smoke with high-powered laser flashes. And, well, when I'm not doing research and when I'm not sitting on the freeway, then, uh, then I like to uh, listen to music, read books and surf or snowboard. And uh, so I also think that in addition to getting enough sleep, that uh, engineers, it's possible for engineers to be human beings and that we should cultivate our humanity at the same time as getting our professional education.